Hi everyone, this is Sanan from Car Inspected. Um, today we're on the island of Montreal. We're taking a look at this uh, 2006 Honda Ridgeline. It's a high mileage car, you can see some imperfections there. And there as well as I'm doing the walk around. There's uh, small spots of rust here and there. Brakes in the front and in the back uh, are recent. The rims are aftermarket and they are on Michelin uh, X-Ice tires, 235, 65, 18. The tires are on their last season. There are about 6, 30 seconds left on them. I've taken a lot of pictures of, uh, of the measurements that I've done. Continuing the walk around, this is the all-wheel drive version. I've taken pictures of the front uh, axles and CV boots. can see a little bit of rust there. If I zoom in, you'll be able to see it. Tailgate has been uh, most likely repainted. You'll see pictures of the paint thickness uh, on the different panels. You can see a ding here right in the center of the screen. Um, these cars tend to rust, yep, right there, right at the bottom, the corners and the bottom of the door. Well, this one on the driver's side is not bad. The manufacturing date of this specific car is April 2006. Now, uh, I'm in the middle of the computer scan right now. I've done the onboard diagnostics, just the generic, and uh, it seems like it passed. 224,410 on the odometer. Now, I'm surprised to see this. It's, uh, so, does it does not have daytime running lights, or it does? Maybe it does. Yeah, it does. It's set up on the daytime running option. Engine and transmission have been replaced. Heated side mirrors. There you go. A little bit of rust here and there, obviously. It's a 2006. Uh, the windshield has been replaced. If you notice, this car has a Sherlock etching and the windows would say Honda on them. Oh, there you go. There you can see the inverse of the Honda sign. Because it's a tinted window, you won't be able to see it from outside. Well, you would, it's just, it needs a lot of light. But then here, you have an aftermarket windshield. It's in decent shape. Some small chips, but no, uh, uh, no cracks. Engine is humming. New oil, the oil was just replaced. Uh, I don't know what that noise is. It does have a, a clunk, I would say. Maybe from the valve train. The brake fluid uh, was tested, it's fine. Battery was tested, it's in good condition. It's from a Hyundai, but I tested it and it's okay tested the coolant freezing temperature I don't know why this cover was added and if you notice they're attached to each other some aftermarket bolts were added as well I doubt that this is an original uh, yeah, see. I doubt that this is an original uh, radiator I think it's been replaced the hood has been moved, readjusted, replaced. Now you can see the scratches on the bolts versus a unit that, or a component that has never been removed. You can see the bolts are in the same vicinity, in the same area. You have it here versus here. 
Uh, some might argue that since the engine and transmission have been replaced, they probably removed the hood to facilitate the replacement. I wouldn't disagree. Engine mount seems to be new. O2 sensor seems to be recent. Well, it's been replaced. It's, it's, it's not new, but... Accessory belt is uh, in okay condition. I would check again in about 5,000 kilometers. This cover has been just... This is for the engine control module. relay box for the electronics there is something missing here this is the uh, inlet for the engine air intake timing belt I was told was replaced it has auxiliary headlights so actually let's do the paint thickness here instead of taking pictures later I think that will uh... I'll be right back okay there we are I'm just sampling different panels. And this one is much thicker as you can see, it's about 200. This measurement is in micrometers. And then this is original. Well, you can tell. So the yeah, so it was painted until about this line. Below that line... Whoa. Not sure what happened there, but below the line is... 204. Above the line... Is normal paint, so... It was painted below the line. Has had some paint work done as well. The tailgate, as I mentioned. This one is rather thick. Oh yeah. There was some rust repair done here. This one is original. So again. Original, 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 let's look at the hood, original, original paint. The only thing with the hood that I wasn't able to see is that Honda in general puts a sticker on all the panels with the VIN number of the car, so if you match it to the vehicle identification number you will notice, well, I mean the last few digits are missing, it's a 2006, but you'll you'll notice that it matches, There, there is a good one here and here and here as you can see, you know, you can find it in different Spots. Huh. Oh, that's probably covered in here. I'm not able to find it. 